Hello everyone, welcome to the portal of EarthaPoint, which is courses.earthapoint.com learn. And here on this portal, better you can go ahead and have a look at various categories of courses, which is IIT Jam, CUET, MA Economics, DEPR, DU semester courses and whatnot. If you click on DU semester courses, you will be able to see the various courses on the portal. Uh, which are available to you. A lot of these courses are an initiative of Artha Point, which means that we are not charging any fees, beta. This is only the portal fees, in which you have introductory mathematical methods for economics, introductory microeconomics, introductory statistics for economics. Then you have intermediate microeconomics, semester three intermediate microeconomics, uh, macroeconomics. This is a paid course. Only this is for 5,000. So you can clearly see that in the paid course, if you click, you will also go ahead and get access to various assignments and you will get access to various other concepts also. So you see here, you also have additional lecture, you have notes, you have assignments, everything is part of the paid course. For all the subjects, you can see past year papers being solved. You can see past year papers being solved and important numericals being discussed in the paid course. So this is a paid course, which is for macroeconomics. But if you go ahead and if you look into uh, the other courses of DU economic semester, they are available for no fees. This is only the portal fees that we are charging. Similarly, if you go ahead and you look into the fifth semester, game theory is a paid course in which we are solving various problem sets also. But other than game theory, other courses like economic growth and business cycle, like introductory development economics, these are all better. These are all the initiative, only portal fees is being charged. And if you go ahead and you look into uh, economic, uh, this introductory development economics, you can see that I have gone ahead and I have covered a lot of the course, even though it is um, an initiative. You can see that unit one is completely covered. You can see that unit two is covered and you can see that unit four is also completely covered. In unit three also, we have covered one chapter. So this is um, the link to our portal. You can go ahead, you can have a look at the various courses. Similarly, if you go ahead and you have a look at the IIT Jam courses, here you will be able to see the difference, uh, different mock test series for IIT Jam that has been launched. At the same time, you will be able to also see uh, the question bank for CUT, which has been now launched. And you will be able to see uh, the different other courses also, right? Uh, these are only few of the courses, beta. Uh, we do provide more courses also. Uh, these are the courses which you can directly access. But if you want a full-fledged course on IIT Jam or a full-fledged course on uh, MA Economics Entrance or a full-fledged course on Indian Economic Service, you can always contact Rohit sir and he will go ahead and he will talk about the different courses that we have. So I just wanted to quickly show you the portal of Artha Point and all of you can go to this portal and you can have a look at different courses. Okay, better. Thank you. Nature selects A with probability half B with probability half. <clears throat> nature selects A. If nature selects A, then player 1 and 2 interact according to matrix A. This matrix A. Probability of selecting this matrix is half. If nature selects B, then players interact according to B. This is matrix B. Probability of getting matrix B is half. <clears throat> Write normal form matrix when both observe, both don't observe nature and what they are playing. So player, both player don't know, neither player 1 nor player 2, both player don't know whether it will be, whether it will be uh, A matrix or B matrix. In that case, you have to form the Bayesian game, right? So try to understand that because both don't know. So with probability half, it will be matrix A. With probability half, it will be matrix B. So what will be their payoff beta? You just have to go for each box. So now when I create this box, player 1, player 2, 
VW X Y Z Look at the first box This X V will come with probability half and this X V will also come with probability half so with probability half you will have 6 0 with probability half you will have 0 0 so this will give you 3 comma 0 plus 0 comma 0 so 3 comma 0 now look at this <coughs> next now I have to fill for X W so with probability half you will be here with probability half you will be here with probability half 4 comma 1 with probability half 0 comma 1 2 comma half plus 0 comma half 2 comma 1 but like that you can fill all the other all the other one so what will this be half 0 comma 0 half 6 comma 0 0 comma 0 plus 3 comma 0 3 comma 0 right okay now let's go for the next box half 0 comma 1 plus half 4 comma 1 0 comma half plus 2 comma half 2 comma 1 let's go for the next one half 5 comma 1 plus half 5 comma 1 so it will be 5 comma 1 and this will also be 3 comma 0 half 3 comma 0 plus half 3 comma 0 so 3 comma 0 so this will be your matrix let's find the Nash equilibrium beta when player 1 goes for x what will y go for 2 go for 1 when he goes for y between 0 and 1 1 between 1 and 0 1 when player 2 goes for v between 3 3 and 5 5 when player 2 goes for W, between 2, 2 and 3, 3. So this is coming as your Nash. Z and V. This is your Nash equilibrium. Right? Okay. Now let's go ahead and take the next question. In the next question, it is going ahead and it is saying that before player select their action player one observes nature choice Mane nature ne half of probability matrix a and matrix b ko diya, but it is sequential player one is able to observe whether he is on this node or this node right so player one observes nature's choice and then after player one observes then player two is acting then player two acts right Player 2 is not observing nature's choice. Only player 1 is observing nature's choice. Player 2 observe nahi kar hai, Right? Represent this in extensive form and Bayesian normal form game and find the Nash. Okay. So now what is happening is, see. Now player 1 is acting first. Right? He is observing the nature's choice. Right? So first player 1 will see the nature's choice and then player 1 will have 3 options between x, y and z so he is choosing between x, y and z x, y and z and then player 2 can choose and player 2 can choose between v and w 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 right now I have to fill this payoff. Right, Veda? So, therefore, this is the node of X, V with matrix A. Right? You are in matrix A. So, matrix A may 
एक्स कॉमा वी क्या है सिक्स कॉमा जीरो सो आई रिटर्न दिस ईयर विद मेट्रिक्स ए वाई कॉमा वी इज वॉट जीरो कॉमा जीरो सो आई रिटर्न इट हियर इन मेट्रिक्स ए जेड कॉमा वी इज वॉट फाइव कॉमा वन सो आई रिटर्न इट हियर इन मेट्रिक्स ए एक्स कॉमा डब्ल्यू इज वॉट फोर कॉमा वन सो आई रिटर्न इट हियर सिमिलरली जेड कॉमा डब्ल्यू इज थ्री कॉमा जीरो आई एम रिटर्न इट हियर एंड देन दिस इज वाई कॉमा डब्ल्यू Similarly, if it is matrix B, then you have player one, and then again he can choose between x, y, z. Just to distinguish that this is matrix B, I have written player one's action as x dash, y dash, and z dash. Because he can observe it, right? That it whether it is matrix A or B. So we have written it with x dash, y dash, and z dash. Okay. And then player two is acting. He doesn't know. Whether it is matrix A or B in the background, so he can you cannot distinguish between the actions of player two, but player one knows whether it is matrix A or B, so he can distinguish between his actions. Clear? Take care. So now for x comma v, what is the payoff of player one in matrix B? Zero comma zero. So I've written it here. Then x comma w. 0 comma 1. I have written it here. Similarly, 6041 have been written here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Now we want to represent this as a Bayesian form here. अब देखो, for player one, I will now combine his actions. So he can either play the strategy x x dash. So x x dash strategy क्या बोलते हैं? That if it is matrix A, he chooses X, and if it is matrix B, then also he chooses X. X Y dash क्या बोलता है? That if it is matrix A, he chooses X, but if it is matrix B, he chooses Y. X Z dash क्या बोल रहा है? If it is matrix A, he chooses X. If it is matrix B, he chooses Z. So since player one knows which matrix it is. वो दोनों मैट्रिक्स का एक साथ बताएगा दैट इफ इट इज ए व्हाट आई विल चूज एंड इफ इट इज बी व्हाट आई विल चूज दैट इज व्हाई आई हैव क्रिएटेड ऑल पॉसिबिलिटीज हियर दीज पॉसिबिलिटीज सो इफ आई कम बैक टू दिस मैट्रिक्स लेट मी जस्ट क्लीन दिस मैट्रिक्स अ बिट दिस एक्सटेंसिव फॉर्म सॉरी अ बिट was your extensive form right okay now look look at the first one x x dash v that means you are going for x if it is matrix a you are going for x if it is matrix b and player 2 is going for v Player two is going for V. Hmm? Is this clear? Player two is going for V. माने आपका ये route है. Player one is saying I am going for X. Whether it is A or B. Player two doesn't know whether it is A or B. So he is just saying I am going for V. So you are getting payoff six zero with probability half, and zero zero with probability half. It is giving you three zero. Okay. Now look here. X x dash w. That means player one is saying I am going for x in both the cases, but player two is saying I am going for w in both the cases. So the payoff are this and this. This with probability half and this with probability half. Two 
comma half plus 0 comma half 2 comma 1 this let me just take one more random number here so suppose I want to find out this box huh? so it is x z dash into and v so player 1 is saying I am following x in matrix A and z in matrix B so So I'm marking it with a separate color, dark blue. Huh? So he's saying X in matrix A and Z in matrix B. And then player 2 is saying I'm going for V. So player 2 is saying I'm going for V. Right? So the payoff will be 6, 0 and 5, 1. Just look at the blue lines. Right? So it will be... So it will be with probability half 6 0 with probability half 5 1 5.5 comma 0 0.5 this is this right so this is how you will create this entire matrix beta i'm leaving it to you just try creating this matrix Now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can find the Nash of this matrix. So for this one is greater, for this one is greater, for this both five are same, for this one is greater, for this one is greater, for this I think okay let's just see what this is. So Y, Z dash and V. So y, Z and v so with probability half 0 0 and with probability half 5 1 so 0 0 plus 2.5 half so it is 2.5 comma half so this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 by huh? so <coughs> this is both are same both are same both are same one is greater now look here when it is V, which is the highest? 6. When it is W, what is the highest? 4. Right? Is this clear? Hmm? So what will be your Nash? Your Nash equilibrium will become X, Y dash, W. That means with matrix A, player 1 is going for X. With matrix B, player 1 is going for Y. Because he can see, just as he can see that the matrix A is automatically X. Just as he can see that the matrix B is automatically Y. And then two with player uh, 2 will go for W. This is your Nash. Right? Now, the question is, does A benefit from having... Oh, when did I write this word? Hey, hey one second, huh? I don't know when this got typed and what this means also. Okay. So it says, does A benefit from having more information? So what is the payoff of player 1 in this case? The payoff of player 1 in this case is 4. And when he didn't have information, what was the payoff of player 1 in that case? What was coming out to be the Nash? he had a payoff of 5. So, is he getting benefited? No. He has no benefit. Ulta, his payoff is decreasing. So, he doesn't have any benefit. 